because it's Māori Language Week, I've asked Dr Shane Retty to join me uh, in this very special place. It is the old Māori Affairs Select Committee Room. Not used that often publicly now, uh, but you can feel the aura uh, of the place. It's a very special room. Now, Māori Language Week. Hmm. Tell us a little bit about that. Ah, well, it's a very special week in New Zealand where we celebrate the unique language that we have, a unique identity. And the message this week for Māori Language Week is kia kaha te wiki o te reo Māori. And I notice every now and again you do a bit of sign language. Um, how about, what's a, what's a good greeting? Oh, look, I'd love to show you one. So kia ora is our most popular greeting. Mm -hmm. You can use it in so many instances. And in sign, kia ora is like a captain in a ship saluting. It's Kia ora. So, kia ora. Kia ora. Kia ora. Perfect. Okay. Well, we're uh, we're getting there. So, what we'll, what we'll do is we'll run through what's happening today uh, in the house. Uh, we'll start off with oral questions. Uh, Duncan Webb to the Minister of Finance. Putia. Putia funding. Yep. Yeah. It's a good word. Yeah. Yep, so, good word. Minister, mm. what recent reports has he seen on the New Zealand economy? Then Simon Bridges has questions two and three, both to the Prime Minister. Uh, does she stand by all her government's statements, policies and actions? So what's the leader of the opposition in Te Reo Māori? Mm, it would be uh, e rangatira. Uh, mm. In fact, many MPs would be e rangatira. You could be e, e kaikorero te rangatira, the speaking chief. Mm -hmm. But he would be a rangatira. I'm uncertain if Simon would deliver it in Māori today. But if he did, he would say... Ka pūmau tonu ia, uh, is she still standing? Uh, ki ana kōrero, ki ana mahi, ki ana kaupapa, by her policy statements and actions. Right, okay. And then we go to Liz Craig, to the Minister of Health. What recent announcements has the government made around improving mental health support uh, for New Zealanders? Are we likely to have the opposition health spokesperson ask a supplementary on this? Uh, no, uh, I think we're just going to, to let that roll, uh, let the good news roll, as, as, you know, whatever they, what they want to say with that. It's a wide question. We'll, we'll just observe. Mm -hmm. Then we go to Paula Bennett to the Prime Minister. Uh, does she stand by her statement on the difficult issues, the hard issues? We will be there and we are there in those con conversations. Paul Goldsmith to the Minister of Finance uh, about the funding of government policies. Jenny Marcroft to the Minister for Regional Economic Development. Uh, what recent provincial growth fund announcements has he made? Now, Mr Jones has a bit of a provincial champion title that self-awarded, I think. Um, does that translate? Uh, well, of course, uh, my, my colleague and my whanonga, we campaigned against each other, as you recall, in the 2017 election. Uh, and there's been some recent announcements, uh, announcements in Northland, and I would expect this question will address that. Right. Then we have Kieran McAnulty to the Minister of the Environment about the fresh water announcement. Um, Michael Woodhouse to the Minister of Health uh, about increased funding for medicines uh, announced uh, at the launch of the Interim Cancer Action Plan. Uh, Reno Tirakatni to the Minister for Māori Development. I might mm. get you to read that. Mm, good on Reno. He's going to give his question in Māori and he's going to say, He aha nga whainga a te kawanatanga e pāna ki te reo Māori. And that means what are the government's goals for the Māori language? Uh, Scott Simpson to the Minister for the Environment. Uh, does he stand by all of his statements, policies and actions? And Todd Muller to the Minister of Agriculture uh, about the cost of farmers of the new water policy. After question time, we will go on to the estimates bill. Um, it's the committee stages of the, of the budget uh, and it is the last day uh, for that today. It's likely to run through uh, till about eight o'clock. Uh, then the Remuneration Authority, the Members of Parliament's uh, Remuneration Amendment Bill, at the first reading, uh, and then we're likely to finish the evening on the Infrastructure Commission, uh, second reading in the name uh, of Shane Jones. So when we're, when we're sort of leaving something like this, what, what's a good way of saying Greetings to you all as we go. Mm, and it's that opportunity, and thank you for the opportunity to mix sign language and Māori. We don't often get that. We have Sign Language Week and Māori Language Week. So, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou koutou in Māori sign is open palm, left palm open, right fist on that, close the palm, raise the thumb, and it's tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou koutou. Perfect.